Let's build up our next queue a bit. We're gonna switch back to Workspace One. We're going to grab our overstage movers and put those in the fly out position. And we're going to grab our effect one group and home their color. So group 30, color, home, enter. And now that effect is a bit more prominent. Now we can switch back to our second workspace and we're going to add a tab and we're going to open up our effects channels display, which is right there. So this tab will allow us to make some changes to our effects on a channel by channel basis. We don't have to do it to the entire effect. These changes will only be stored into the queue and exhibit normal tracking behavior. They will not change the base effect. Let's start by saying channels 31 plus 35, rate 500, and you'll notice that our command line automatically put effect four there for us, because that's the effect they are running. Enter. And now you can see the two lights in the downstage corners of our stage are going at a much faster rate than the other lights running that effect. I'm going to say 102 plus 104 size 50. So two of our front of house lights are going to make a smaller circle while the other three continue their larger size that's stored in the queue. I'm going to take those other three moving lights, so 101, 103, and 105, and I'm going to change their horizontal form, which is a soft key, to zero. What that's going to do is cause those fixtures to go in a straight line left to right because we have reduced their horizontal form data to zero. All right, this is what we want our queue to look like. So we are going to record 111 time to enter. Let's go back to a queue we made earlier and make a couple of changes. So we're gonna to go to queue 37.2 and I wanna be back on my first workspace. We're going to grab our overstage movers, turn those on and let's go ahead and home those to start. We are going to put those in our cross stage look and run our heart effect, effect number two. Now when we wrote that effect, it had a grouping of one, so you'll see those are all moving together. So in this queue, let's change that behavior. So we wanna clear our command line, press effect to open our effect status display and I'm gonna change that grouping to four. That gives us a little bit more of a dynamic look. I'm gonna switch back to our second workspace with our effect channel display. And I want those downstage two fixtures, 121 and 122, to have a faster rate. I'm gonna say rate 250, enter. If you look up in the rig, you'll see that only the two downstage fixtures of those eight moving lights are moving faster than the rest now. And I want the upstage fixtures, 125 through 128, to have a smaller size. So we're gonna make that a size of 50. Enter. That looks pretty fun. So we're gonna go ahead and update, enter. Notice that all of our values have been stored into this queue and we'll track forward until they get another move instruction.